Hi, I'm Emily Laidlaw of Your Tutoring Solutions, and I use a lot of Google Sheets to make my educational material. And I know people get apprehensive with Google Sheets if they want to use a product, whether from me or someone else, and they get the warning that says, oh my goodness, potentially unsafe. So I want to show you how you can easily check. So this is my ultimate editable game pack that takes a list of words and puts it into all these different games. And you can do things like roll the dice, or you can play um, you can play Connect Four and drop the checkers in. It's like, okay, I want to play here, and it drops the checkers in for you. Well, that requires some code, and when you get, when you go to use it, you get this warning, like warning, it uses code, it's potentially unsafe. So what can you do? So let me show you. I'm going to take this and open an incognito window so you can see the steps. There we go. And I'm going to put the uh, the link that says you were going to copy this. It says you're going to copy it. We go to copy it and we get the warning. Attached app script and file will also be copied. And it's like, uh, is that safe? I don't know. Here's what you can easily do. Go to view the app script file. Now, you can look and it's like, oh, okay, that's a lot. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm going to show you what you need to do, okay, to make it easy. Look over here under files. You're going to notice it might be in two places, one that says macros and one that says an actual function. So we're going to have to check both of it. So all I'm going to do is come in here, control A. Here we go. I'm going to copy the code. Control A to select the whole thing. Control C. And I go into chat GPT and I say, is this code safe for me to use? And paste in that code. And it's okay that it's long. It doesn't mind. So let's say, based on the code alone, it appears to be safe to use. It's important to note that the safety of the code depends on what the code is intended to do and how it's used. Okay, so it appears to be safe. So I'm going to ask, uh, does this code ask for any personal information? There does not appear to be any request for personal information. The code consists of a series of functions that manipulate data within a Google Sheets spreadsheet. None of the functions contain any code that would prompt a user to enter or provide personal information. Okay, you don't have to read it. You don't have to know what it does. This is an amazing use for ChatGPT. If you want to say, what does this code do? It can tell you. But remember, there were two places that it had code, and you would want to check both if you were at all um, you know, concerned. So look under here. There might be a couple of files listed. And for each file, you can do the same thing. Go to here, Control-A, Control-C. Go back to chat and say, what about this code? There. This code does not seem to ask for any personal information as it is a script for a Google Sheet document that changes the background color of cells based on their current color. It appears to be used for formatting purposes in the spreadsheet and does not interact with the user in any way. Is that easy? You don't have to read through all the code. Let ChatGPT do it for you, but ask the right questions and know to check both if there's multiple files that have code. I hope that's helpful for you and set your mind at ease. And if you're getting a, a Google Sheet from me, I know it's safe, but you know, check for yourself. Ask ChatGPT. If you're getting a Google Sheet from someone else, you can do the same thing. And it doesn't matter how complex the code is, Chat can read it. So I hope that's helpful and put your mind at ease and let's use Google Sheets to our advantage and check out the amazing games and things that we have uh, available in Google Sheets for your use as a literacy teacher. Thanks.